You can draw cartoonies too, right along with Uncle Fred. All you need is a pencil, some paper, and some crayons. If you don't want to use a pencil, you can use a ballpoint pen, a felt tip pen, or a marker. It doesn't matter. And for paper, you'll need about 20 sheets. Typewriter paper, notebook paper, sketch paper, scratch paper, any kind of paper will do. We're just going to have fun. And for colors, you can use your crayons, or you can use markers, colored pencils. If you want to make purple, use raspberry juice. <laughs> now, before we draw funny cartoonies, let's warm up our little fingers, shall we? That's enough. Don't want to overdo it. <laughs> now, let's warm up our little giggle boxes. Everybody knows how to giggle, don't they? <laughs> That's it. Now, let's all clap and laugh and get in the mood. Here we go. That's enough. <clears throat> Get a fresh sheet of paper and your pencil. We're going to draw a magic circle. Everybody ready? First, let's draw a little circle right here in the center of our paper, about the size of a dime. Got that? All right. Now put your pencils down and take your forefinger or your index finger, whatever you want to call it, and when Uncle Fred counts to three, one, two, and three, let's put our fingers right in the middle of the magic circle and see what happens. One, two, three. <coughs> oh, my gracious, do you know what you just drew? That's the doorbell to the witch's castle. My goodness sakes alive. I told you that circle was magic. Now let's draw some more doorbells. Just make nice little doorbells all around that doorbell. Here we go. See, like that. Don't waste any time. Just make circles, just happy circles. There you have it. And now, Take your pencil and let's make a little line up here. Boop. Just like that. That's good. You see, your magic doorbell just turned into a bunch of grapes. <laughs> no more doorbells. They're all gone. <laughs> oh, my God. Oops, there's one more left. Let Uncle Fred get his pencil and fix that. It's all gone. <laughs> We're safe now. All right, now let's take our purple crayons. We're going to color our bunch of grapes. Just back and forth. You don't have to be too careful. Just have fun back and forth, just like that. There you have it. Your magic doorbell turned into a beautiful bunch of grapes. Now let's get a fresh sheet of paper, and we're going to make another drawing. Now we all ready? Got your paper and your pencil. Here we go. Let's draw a circle right here in the middle of our paper, sort of in the middle. There you go. Doesn't matter. Got it? Now let's just make a little dot down here. Pretty good sized dot. A big dot, I'd say. There we have our dot. Now we're going to make a letter W. Cheep, cheep. It's going to be a little bitty, a little baby chicken coming out of its eggshell. 
two little lines right here will make the little bitty's body. See how fast you can draw a little bitty's body? Now here we're going to draw the eggshell. There's the eggshell. Beautiful. Now let's crack the eggshell. Just uh, crack it any way you want to. It's your eggshell. Crickety crack, crickety crack, crick, crick, crack, crickety crack, crickety crack, crick, crick, crack. There you have a beautiful cracked eggshell. Now let's draw a little ground line right here, shall we? The little bitty's very anxious to get out and start scratching. Now let's put a little foot right down here. Watch how fast you can draw a little bitty's foot. Boop, boop, boop. There you have it. That's beautiful. And he's rocking the eggshell. Rickety rock, rickety rock. Those are rickety rock lines. There you have it. There you have your little bitty coming out of the eggshell. Now let's color our little bitty yellow. You can color it any color you want to, but Uncle Fred's going to use yellow. Here we go. Just put some yellow on the little bitty's body. You don't have to be too careful. Jump over the lines or stay in them. Whatever you want to do. There you have it. Now I think a little green grass would be real good. Here we go. Just suggest some green grass. And if you want to be very artistic, you can put in some blades. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Boop, boop, boop. Boop, 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 boop. There you have it. There's your little bitty coming out of an eggshell. And see how the little bitty comes to life when you put the colors on him? Let's take a trip out to the dark continent and meet the king of the jungle, the African lion. Mm. Uh, pardon me, Your Majesty. Would you come out and pose for us? <coughs> Who? Me? Pose? <laughs> oh, thank you, Your Royal Highness. Any time, Uncle Fred. <clears throat> Oh, I bet we can draw a real good cartoony of that. That beautiful African lion. So, get a fresh sheet of paper and your pencil. Here we go. It's lion time. Grrr. Don't be scared now. This is going to be a very, very, very quiet drawing. Just draw a circle right up here. This is going to be the lion's head. What a beautiful, beautiful lion's head you just drew. There's his nose. Just put a nose on your line, just like that. He's got his head tilted back. And here's his little mouth. Those are his lips. And some whisker holes. <laughs> and here's the whiskers. Zoop, 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 zoop. Anybody that can go zoop can draw lion whiskers. Got the little lips. Now we're going to draw a great big letter U. Ooh, there you have it. Now let's uh, put a couple of teeth very carefully here in the lion's mouth. Ah, there's one tooth. And here's another tooth. Ah, have to be very careful in there and a tongue. There it is, right there. There, you're all set. Now we're going to draw a beautiful mane all the way around our lion's head. And here again, don't fool around. Cartoonies are funny and fast. Just go boopity 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 boop. There you have it. Boopity 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 boop. There you have it. Boop, 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 boop. The lion's mane. Boop, 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 boop. Boop, 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 See, you can just make some wiggly lines. Chook, 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 chook. Any song you want. Boo, lee, loo, lee, loo. There's the lion's mane. 
Now let's draw a little line down here. This is his leg and a paw. And over here, we'll put another leg and another paw. And we'll give him some ground to sit on. That's how the ground sounds in Africa. Look, 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 look. Okay, a little line here makes a beautiful lion. And the tail is up in the air. He's always wagging his tail around. And a little fluffy tuff out on the end. There we have it. There's our lion. Now let's color him. Get your orange crayons. Everybody got their orange? Here we go. Keep away from his little lips up there. We're gonna leave those white. Just run your orange here, just like that. Just whatever you wanna do. There you have it. And make his tongue nice and orange. You can make it red if you want to. There you have it. Now, back and forth, you can color the lion's body orange. Sort of a golden lion. Not a golden lion, but a golden lion, but a goldy lion. A golden. <laughs> Here we have it. Now let's take our brown. This is the scary part. Be careful how you draw in the mouth there, but you just do it and get out of there as fast as you can. Brownie, brown, brown, go to town with your brown. <laughs> just back and forth, jiggle, jaggle, wiggle, waggle. Whoops, got out just in time. There we have it. Now let's color his mane nice and brown, back and forth. A lot of mane to cover here. You can sing as you go along. Do do do. What in the world is it going to be? There you have it. And a little on the tuft. There we have it. Beautiful. And some green grass. Just a couple of back and forth green grass. There you have it. And a tuft or two. Boop boop. You see how your little lion just comes to life when you put the colors on him. I think he wants to go back to sleep. Paper and pencil, everyone, here we go. Draw a nice big letter C right in the middle of your paper, just like that, and let's see what it's going to be. Got that? Beautiful C. Now let's put a little something up here. Boop! That's a stem on an apple. <laughs> Do you know why the apple doesn't go all the way around like that? Here's the funny part. Boop, 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 boop. Draw that in there real nice. Somebody's taking a bite out of the apple. Let's do it again a little further out. Boop, 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 boop. That way we can see inside the apple. Now, an apple leaf over here and an apple leaf down here. Very simple little apple leaves. There you have your funny apple. Now let's get our green, a green crayon, and color the leaves nice green. Just put it on there. Ziggle, zaggle, wiggle, waggle. Don't have to be too careful. See how beautiful those leaves are? Now there are all kinds of apples, all different colors. Yellow apples, green apples, red apples. Uncle Fred's gonna color his red. You color yours any color you want to. Here we go. Da -de 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 -de. Stay out of the middle of the apple there because that's white. Ja -de 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 -de. See, I ran over the line a little bit, but it doesn't hurt. There you have it. There's your beautiful, beautiful apple. I wonder who took that bite of the apple. <laughs> Maybe it was Uncle Fred. Now, we're going to draw one of the little animals in our song. Listen and see if you can guess which one it is. A cat, a dog, a chimpanzee. Did you guess it? I'll give you a little clue. Meow. That's right, we're going to draw a little kitty cat. <laughs> Get a fresh sheet of paper and your pencil. Here we go. Let's start with a little kitty cat's head right here in the middle of our paper. Just make a nice little kitty cat circle. That's good. Beautiful. 
two little kitty cat eyes. Just like that. And a little bitty kitty cat nose. <laughs> two little kitty cat lips. And we're going to draw some kitty cat whiskers now. Zip, 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 zip. Those are the little kitty cat whiskers. Just a zip, zip. And a little bitty tongue. There we have it. And now two pointy ears right on top of our little kitty cat's head. Just like that. There they are and a little bitty leg and a little bitty paw. And on this side, another little leg and another little paw. And we better give the little kitty cat something to sit on. Let's make a little ground line right across there. Don't have to be too careful. These are cartoonies. We just want to have fun. Draw a little line right there. Now for the beautiful little kitty cat's tail. There you have it. Now set your kitty cat aside and you can color it any color you like to after the show. Uncle Fred's cat was drawn with a felt tip pen and colored with crayons. Drawn with a pencil and shaded with a pencil. Drawn with a marker and colored with markers. Drawn with a ballpoint pen and colored with colored pencils. And this little black cat was drawn at midnight. Now this next little kitty cat you can always draw with a saucer of milk. Get a fresh sheet of paper and your pencil. We're going to draw a quickie, tricky tune. First, let's draw a line right across here in the middle of our paper, just like that. And on top of the line, we'll put three bumps. Bump de bump, bump. Do you know what that is? No, they're not three turtles going to the movies. <laughs> and they're not three igloos either. <laughs> uh, take your pencil right here and go straight up in the air, sort of like this. Boop, just like that. And on the other side, do the same thing. Boop. Now do you know what it is? Those are three toenails on a great big elephant's foot. And if you want to be real fancy, you can put a couple of knee wrinkles in too. Zip, zip, there you have it. Now, do you know just exactly what kind of an elephant that is? I've got my orange. It's a little girl elephant because she's wearing toenail polish. <laughs> Since she's a nice girl, I'll put a little green for her to stand on. There you have your little quickie tricky tune. You can play that on your friends sometime. I use it all the time when I haven't got anything to do. Get a fresh sheet of paper and your pencil. We're going to start this scary tune with a cartoony box. And here's how you draw a cartoony box to keep your cartoony in. Just draw a line down there. You don't have to be too careful. Just make a little box like this. We're going to put a cartoony right inside the box. Take your time and draw a little box, just like You don't have to use a ruler or anything else. They just make it cartoony style, nice and easy and breezy. Then we're going to draw a little letter C right about here. Sort of a wide letter C, just about like that. Everybody got their letter C? This little letter C is going to be a little fishy. Put an I right here and dot the I right like that. 
Now let's put a tail on a little fish. There you have a little fish tail. And a fin on the top and a little fin on the bottom. And a little smile. A big smile. There you go. And since our little fish is in the water, he's swimming right along, wiggle water lines, wiggle water lines, just a couple of them, just like that. Got that? Now we're going to draw a big letter S, and here comes the scary, scary part. We're going to start with our letter S right up here. There we go. Watch this. <laughs> There's our S. My gracious, you know what that is? Quick, put a circle up here. Put a little circle up there. And I, oh my gracious, that's a great big old fish after our little fishy. Let's put some teeth in here. There you have it. Isn't that scary? I wonder why that little fishy's laughing so much. Let's put some color on him. I'm going to color my little fishy orange. And I believe I'll put purple on this big old thing here. You can put any color you want to on it. You can put purple polka dots on it if you want to. I'm just going to make a big old bad purple fish here. There we go. Just back and forth. Don't fool around with your crayons. See, you can wiggle around just as long as you get the purple on there. That's all that matters. Yeah, run over the lines. Doesn't matter, really. Just as long as you have fun. Sometimes you want to be real careful. Other times you just want to quick put some color on and have fun. I'm going to make yellow teeth. I don't think he ever brushes his teeth. Ah, golly. There he goes. And if you want to dress it up, you can put a little blue water in there. Just see, just a suggestion that the water's blue. And you're wondering, why is that little fish smiling? He's smiling because he's a little darter and he knows he's going to get away from that big old mouth. <laughs> Aren't you glad? I sure am. <laughs> now let's go down to the riverbank and meet the beautiful Miss Eva, our singing hippopotamus. Meet me by the Nile. <laughs> bravo, Miss Eva, bravo, sweet thing. Do you mind if we draw a cartoony of your great, big, beautiful mouth? No problem, Uncle Fred. <laughs> Thank you so much, Miss Eva, and bye bye. That's how hippos wave bye bye. Get a fresh sheet of paper and your pencil. Uh, we're going to start off with a cartoony box. Just make yourself a nice cartoony box here, freehand, that we can keep our cartoony in. There you have a nice cartoony box. Let's start with a little circle just about in this area right here, just a nice little circle. Everybody got the little circle in their cartoony box? That's Miss Eva's eye. A little hood over eye, just like this. That's good. Now we're going to draw a great big mouth over here. You remember her beautiful, beautiful mouth? Here we go. Make a little noise, sing a little song. Here we go, right along. <laughs> Meet me by the Nile. Way up in here and up in there and then down again, just like this, and zap. You ought to be able to do that. There you have it. 
And she had a couple of beautiful teeth, as you remember. Let's make some cartoony teeth up there. <laughs> Just for fun. Those are real good. Now, here's a little line we'll put right back here to show that we're looking in her mouth. See? That's good. And here's her little ear. You remember her ears? Beautiful little ear. There's an ear. And her great, big, beautiful body coming up here like that, just across there. That's fine. Now let's draw a line, a water line. Water, water, water. Right across there like that. There you have the water. Now we have to be very careful because we're going to draw some jungle greenery. Don't fool around in here. Boop, 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 boop. Get it in there and get out. <laughs> and we'll put a little over here too. Watch out. There you have it. And there's always a few little birds around the hippos. Anybody that can go can draw a bird. There you have it. Now Uncle Fred is going to use his orange and his brown crayon to color Miss Eva's body. And there again, I just go back and forth, back and forth, just like this, and not waste a lot of time, just give her nice orange here on this part of her body, just like that. See there? Real simple colors. Then we'll take our brown and uh, put it on this side. Gives it a sort of a modeling to this beautiful model of ours. There you have it. Just bear down a little on your brown, get a good body on her there. That's fine. And here comes a good cartoony mouth. Uncle Fred's got his red and he's gonna put it right in here. Oh, it's a good, happy, laughing color red is. There you have it. Oh, oh, beautiful. Now you have to be very careful with this. Get your green. We're going to color our jungle very carefully. And if you hear anything scary back here, drop your crayons and run. Okay, don't fool around. Oh, listen to all the noise in there. Oh, I think there's all kinds of things in that jungle. Got it in there? Oh, just in time. Here, too, we have to be careful with the water because there's crocodiles and stuff. I like to get in and get out in a hurry. <laughs> hurry up, quick, hurry. Oh, 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 we're safe, we made it. There you have it. There's the beautiful, beautiful Miss Eva. Now get a fresh sheet of paper and your pencil. Uh-oh. Uh I forgot to wave bye-bye. Just a minute. Bye-bye, Miss Eva. Bye-bye, sweetheart. Thank you so much. Now, at last, we can get a fresh sheet of paper. Got your pencils ready? Let's draw an upside-down light bulb. It goes something like this. Funny looking light bulb, just like that. Everybody got the light bulb? Make a nice boop. There you have it. Now let's put a nose on the light bulb right here, a little circle. Boop. <laughs> You'll never guess what this is going to be. Uh, let's put a clean ear over here. Boop. Beautiful clean ear and some beautiful hair. Beep, boop, boop. All shiny and slick, except for boop, boop, two wild ones. Can you guess what this is going to be? Here's a sparkling eye and a big smile. <laughs> there you have it. It's a little boyfriend calling on his girlfriend. Let's put a collar on him, just like that. That's a nice collar. And a bow tie right down here. See how fast you can draw a bow tie? A beautiful, beautiful bow tie. And a jacket, of course. There you have the jacket. 
and he's got to take her a bouquet of flowers. Boop, 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 boop. Boop, 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 boop. Don't fool around. Just make a whole lot of little flowers in here. Doop, 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 doop. There you have it. Boop, 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 boop. There you have your little boyfriend calling on his little girlfriend. Now let's get our crayons. Let's get our orange and color him. I'm going to color this little fellow orange. You can color yours any color you want to. He's your little fellow. Use any crayon you want to. There we have it. Put a little orange on a couple of these flowers down here. And I think I'm going to give him some beautiful brown hair with my crayon. There we have it. And if you want to, you can leave a little highlight there in his hair. Makes you look like a professional cartooner. There you have it. And let's try a bright red bow tie. There you have it. And I put a red flower. Maybe that's a rose over there. Put that Rose, now, how about a beautiful blue jacket? Oh boy, is he dressed up. You can almost hear his heart. Boom, 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 boom. Let me see if I can find a little yellow here. Put on my flowers. There he is. He's all set. And for his little thumping heart, I'll just put a couple of red hearts around here and there. <laughs> oh boy. I bet she'll be glad to see him. Okay, there's your little boyfriend. And if you want to put him in a frame, we can draw a little cartoony box around him. Just, just run a line over here like this, and then go up in the air, way up to here, and then over and down. And you have a little cartoony box to keep your little cartoony in. Isn't that nice? Do you know what's missing here? The little letter U, right here. Without our little U, there wouldn't be any fun at all. Now, let's get a fresh sheet of paper and our pencils, and let's have some fun with our little U's. First draw one little U right down there. And we're going to draw some more, holding hands and dancing, ring around the rosy. There's the ring. But it isn't a rosy at all. It's a daisy. And there's the daisy stem and a leaf and another leaf. There you have six little U's dancing ring around the rosy, which turns out to be a daisy. Now let's take our yellow, our yellow crayon, and color the petals yellow. Just move around. You can go over the lines or under the lines. They're your lines. You can do them any way you want to. And of course, the leaves are green. There we go, back and forth, zippity zap. There we have it. Now, Uncle Fred's going to use a bright orange for the center, just like that. There's our little daisy. Now, when you see a daisy again, it's just six little U's dancing around, singing Ring Around the Rosy, or Daisy, that is. Now, let's go out to the elephant walk and visit the largest land animals in the whole world, the African elephants. Uh, pardon me, miss. I wonder if you would uh, stop long enough to pose for us. Uh, would you pose for, miss, uh, we're drawing some cartoonies and wonder if you would pose for us. Uh, dear, uh, would you please, uh, miss, miss. They're gone. They're all gone. Now, how in the world can we draw an elephant cartoony if they won't pose for us. I know what. We'll use our little U's. That's what we'll do. Get a fresh sheet of paper and a pencil, and let's have some fun cartooning an Elma flunk. 
First of all, let's draw a little cartoony box to keep our cartoony in before we call our little U's into action. Let's make a nice little cartoony box, just like that. There you have it. Well, a great big old U came up and said, Uncle Fred, I can make the top of a trunk real easy. And he did. He went, Whoop, just like that. You got that? Beautiful. And the little bitty you says, I can make a snout. Boop. And he did. And another big old you says, I'll make the bottom of the trunk. And he did. And an upside down you says, I will just jump up here and make the top of the head. And he jumped right away and he was gone. And a sleepy little you says, I can make an eye. And he made a little eye right up there. And the talkative you says, ho, 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 I can make a mouth. I can make a mouth. I can make a mouth. And he made a mouth real fast. <laughs> and the eerie you said, I can make a real good ear. And he did. He went all the way down, jumped out of the cartoony box, and back in again, just like that. A beautiful ear. And a rather flat you says, well, I can make a chin. And he just made a chin down here like that. And some other little youths were swimming over here, and they said, we can make some water for you. You, 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 you. You, and they came swimming across. You, 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 you. There they are. And three little flying wet yous went jumping out of the snout. You, you, you. And there you have it. And one other little you says, I'll make a good smile upside down. Boop. And there you have it. There's your Elema flunk, thanks to the little yous. Now let's get our crayons and color our elephant. There are white elephants, there are pink elephants, there are purple polka dot. Oh, no, they're not. There are if you want to make them that way. But I'm going to use orange. I like orange. It's nice, a pretty color. You can color yours any color you want to. It's your elephant. That's the nice things about, thing about cartoonies. You can color any color you want to. There you have a nice orange elephant and some blue water. I'm going to use my blue crayon back and forth, ziggity-zag, and just make some nice water. And of course, our little flying wet use are blue too. There you have it. Then, I'll take my red and make a beautiful cartoony mouth, nice and red and happy. And there we have it. Our elephant taking a shower with his garden hose, thanks to the little use. Get a fresh sheet of paper and your pencil. Let's start with a cartoony box. Here's the way we draw it. There's a line here, and over this away, and up that away, and across this away, just like that. Nice little cartoony box to keep our cartoony in. The first thing we're going to do is to draw a beautiful lawn right across here. See how fast you can draw a lawn? Just right across there, just like that. Now get your green crayon, and let's color the lawn nice and green. Back and forth, don't fool around. We're gonna change crayons a lot in this little cartoony. There you have it. Now up here in this corner, Let's draw the top of a tree, some leaves. Boop, 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 boop. See how fast you can draw that? Everybody got it? Okay, let's color the leaves green. Back and forth. Now 
Now, we don't want the leaves sitting up there in the air all by themselves, so let's just draw the trunk of a tree going up. Boop, like that. And another line over here, and bend away like that. And a letter V right here in the middle. Boop, boop. Beautiful. Now let's get our brown crayons and color our tree trunk. Just back and forth, ziggity zag, just like that. See how fast you can draw a tree trunk and color it? Next, let's put some shrubbery behind the tree. Boop, 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 boop. There's shrubbery behind the tree, but you can't see it, of course. And let's put a little shrubbery over here. Boop, 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 boop. And grab your green again, 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 again. <laughs> and color the shrubbery green. See that? Now let's draw a line right here. We're going to make a picket fence right across here. And here's how you draw a picket fence. Picket, 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 picket. There's a nice picket fence. And there's some shrubbery behind the fence, and you can see a little bit of it here. Boop, 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 boop. Grab your green. Colored green. There you have it. Now we're going to put a house back here, and here is the roof of the house. The top of the house comes over here like this. Bloop, 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 bloop. And the roof comes down. Boop, 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 boop. And over. Boop, 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 boop. Like that. Then we draw the side of the house. There's a nice house. Let's give it a chimney right in here. Beep. See how fast you can draw a chimney? And there's a window. Something's going on inside that window. You'll find out later. A nice window like that. And some fluffy clouds. Boop, boop, boop. Those are fluffy clouds and some birds. Those are birds. Now let's get our blue crayon and color the sky blue. We're just jumping around with our crayons having fun. That's what cartoonies are all about, just to have fun. And make a red chimney. Get your red and make a nice red chimney. And I'm going to make a gray roof. And the way you make a gray roof is take your black crayon and use it very lightly back and forth, and you get gray. See that? If you don't bear down too hard, you get a nice gray. And I'm going to paint my house yellow. You paint your house any color you want to. See there? You don't spill any paint with crayons. <laughs> there you have it, a nice little cartoony. Listen carefully, and you can hear little Shirley practicing her piano. There's your cartoony. See what you've drawn? A beautiful lawn some shrubbery, tree trunk, a tree, and some lovely birds, a picket fence, and beautiful blue sky, white fluffy clouds, a red chimney, a gray roof, and a yellow house, and a nice window in there, and you even drew little Shirley practicing her piano. <laughs> Isn't that fun? Uh, Let's see, what were we going to draw next? Oh, of course, some spotted tree trunks. <laughs> Get your pencils and wait a minute. Those tree trunks are moving. That looks like a giraffe's tail and giraffe legs and big, big giraffe spots on a long, long giraffe neck. By golly, it is. A giraffe, 
a beautiful giraffe. I bet we can draw a real good cartoony from that. Get a fresh sheet of paper and your pencil. Here we go. We're going to cartoony our giraffe, or part of him anyway. Let's start with the cartoony box. A nice cartoony box to keep our giraffe in. There we have it. Now right here, make a nice big eye. Did you notice the big, beautiful eye on our giraffe? And he's looking over this way. And they have long, beautiful eyelashes. Then let's draw a line down here. And go down a little bit. And give him a little mouth. And a tongue, it's called a prehensile tongue because it grabs leaves from the top of trees. <laughs> There's a beautiful giraffe tongue. Then let's draw a little horn up here on top of his head. And pointy ears. Then we come down under his chin and go back and down all the way. And another line on this side for his beautiful long, long neck. And since he's so high up in the sky, let's draw a sky up here some beautiful white fluffy clouds. Up with the birds. Some more birds. And he's eating leaves from the top of the tree. There you have a cartoony giraffe. Now get your orange, or you can color him yellow if you want to, but Uncle Fred's gonna use orange. Just color the giraffe any color you want to, he's your giraffe. You can make him blue or green or candy stripe, any color you want to. There you have it. And I'm going to put some blue in the sky now. There's a nice blue sky for a giraffe. And some green leaves, some beautiful green leaves on the top of these trees. And a giraffe has a very dark tongue, but I think I'm gonna give him a bright red tongue. There, that's what I'm gonna do. He's a cartoony giraffe. Now for the spots. Let's get our brown crayon and make some good giraffe spots. There you have it. Spot, 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 spot. Beautiful spots on our lovely giraffe. There you have it. Isn't that nice? That's a cartoony giraffe. It shows you that he's very tall. He's eating leaves from the top of the trees. His head is up in the clouds among the birds. That's a good cartoony. Now we're going to draw another one of the little animals in our song. Listen and see if you can guess which one it is. A cat, a dog, a chimpanzee. Did you guess? I'll give you a little clue. That's right, a little puppy dog. As a matter of fact, we're gonna cartoony two little puppy dogs. Get your pencil and your paper and let's go. We're going to put our little puppy dogs right here. One little puppy dog there and one little puppy dog over here. Let's start with a nice circle right there and opposite on this side of the paper, let's put another circle just about that size, right there. That's good. There's our two little puppy dog's heads. 
This little puppy dog has his nose way down here. He's looking down. I wonder why. But this little puppy dog, his nose is way up in the air. His head is all reared back. Now let's make a leg and a paw, just like that. And a leg and a paw. Got that? Now we're going to do something funny. We're going to put a ground line, run it all the way across, just like this, so that both of our little puppy dogs will have something to sit on. Then we put a leg and a paw over here. And another leg and another paw. One little line in between will give us a leg and a paw. A leg and a paw. Everybody got that? That's fine. This little puppy dog is kind of sad. His eyes are closed. <laughs> and his ears are drooping down, way down like this. <laughs> he doesn't feel too good about something. And his little old tail is just laying there on the ground, no place to go at all. <laughs> but this little puppy dog, boy, look at his mouth. Draw a little line up there like that. And then we'll draw a letter U down here. Ha, 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 ha. Just like that. Beautiful. He's got a big laugh on his face. And we'll put his tongue in there. Boop, boop, like that. Look at these ears. Whee! They're just flying in the breeze. Ha, <laughs> ha. He's as happy as can be. Whee! There he is. And his tail is just flying up in the air like that. Flappity flap, flappity flap, flap flap. These are flap flap lines. Flap flap, flap flap. There you have it. There's your two little puppy dogs. And now we're going to color our little puppy dogs. You can color your puppy dog any color you want to. Uncle Fred is going to use some yellow. And just touch around here and there. You don't have to be too careful. Just suggest that the little puppy dog is yellow. That's good. And this one's yellow over here, and here, and around. Just have fun with your cartoonies. That's it. You got that? Now, let's take our orange and put a good orange tongue on this puppy dog. He's really laughing and having fun. Now I'm going to use some brown, brown spots. Brown spot here, just little spots here and there on your puppy dog. That's good. Just anywhere you want to put them. That's good. And some real good brown inside of this puppy dog's mouth. See? That really makes him laugh. I'm tickling him. <laughs> and there you have it. And how about some beautiful green grass for our puppies to sit on? Just back and forth. There you have nice, beautiful green grass. You see how your little puppy dogs come to life when you put the colors on them? Oh, this little puppy dog is sad. I know why. I forgot to put his tail yellow. Oh, there he is. There's his little yellow tail. There you are, little fellow. <laughs> his feelings are hurt because I forgot him. Now this other little puppy dog, he's as happy as can be. <laughs> I think he's going to go out and play. <laughs> That's it. There's your two little puppy dogs. Now you color them any color you want to. Now let's take a quick trip out to the dark continent and meet a very special friend of mine, Miss Abby. Hello, darling, how are you today? Oh, what a sweet girl. What a pretty dress, too. Did you make that dress all by yourself? Did you make it? <laughs> 
that's real nice. I wonder if you'd pose for us so we could draw your cartoony. Would you do that for us? You would? Oh, that's nice. That's a great pose, Miss Abby. Oh, that's marvelous. Oh, thank you so much, sweetheart. I'm sure the boys and girls will never forget your adorable face. <laughs> Give me a kiss. <laughs> what a beautiful child. Let's get a, a fresh sheet of paper now and our pencils, and let's draw a cartoony of Miss Abby. First, let's start with a figure eight right here in the middle of our paper, just like that. Let's draw a figure eight, a real nice figure eight. Then let's draw two circles on either side of our eight, just like that. That's very simple. Two more circles for those beautiful little brown eyes. And one more circle down here for that little bitty nose. Now, let's give her a great big chimpanzee smile. <laughs> Isn't she beautiful? And since she's a little girl, let's put a bow right up here in the top of her hair, just like that. She'll appreciate that very much. Now get your orange crayon. We're going to color Miss Abby. First, just color this ear, nice and orange, and this ear, and that beautiful mouth. There you go, all around there. That'll do it. Next, let's get our brown crayon. And here's where we do some ziggy zags and wiggy wags. Start right here and go ziggy zag, ziggy zag, go right around, right around, just like this, all the way around her head, in here, and around her little mouth, just like this. Just wiggle, waggle, jiggle, jaggle, and then come up here and fill in a little bit there, leaving nice white space around those eyes and make those eyes nice and brown just like that, and a little brown nose. <laughs> She'll appreciate that. There you have it. Now let's take our green crayon and give her some nice green pokey dots. Pokey dot, pokey dot, pokey dot. Now don't be too pokey with your pokey dots. <laughs> pokey dot, pokey dot, pokey dot. There you have it. There's the beautiful Miss Abby that posed just for you. Thank you so much, dear. Now let's put our pencils, our paper, and our crayons away and leave everything neat and tidy. Uncle Fred will see you again real soon. So until then, bye-bye. <laughs>